Build versus buy. The time old question. Which one is better for you, but more importantly, which one is gonna make your car faster? Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're gonna be discussing built versus bought. If you know me, you know that I'm a DIYer. I love building things myself, uh, but sometimes it just pays to go and actually buy a product. So we're gonna go into the pro and cons of each of the built versus bought uh, arguments. One of the big arguments for build over bought is cost. It's often cheaper to build something yourself than to buy it already assembled. But you don't have to be a cheapskate to build. Uh, building an engine, a suspension, a whole car is very expensive. Uh, but you can save big money by doing the labor or sourcing the parts yourself. But sometimes you might not have the tools, the equipment, the space, or the knowledge to even do it yourself. In those cases, it does make sense to go and buy that product or to outsource it to somebody else. Let's take this shop as an example. I decided to buy this house with this shop already built than building one at my last house. Even though my last house did not have the room for a shop this size, I decided that it was a better option to buy something than to build it. I know that's a little bit different than a, a car, but the same principles really do apply. Another thing for building over buying is, is the perfect opportunity to go and buy that tool or that piece of equipment that you've always wanted. Knowledge can be learned. That's what the internet is for. My philosophy on doing work myself is if somebody else can do it, then I can do it too. And then that tool or that piece of equipment now becomes an investment in yourself. You can then go and try to help somebody else or you can use that to make some money. A, a perfect example of that is a welder. The next topic is time. It takes time to design, fabricate, build, install, whatever it may be. Building takes time. Building a car will take a lot longer than going and buying one and then driving it straight off the lot and going racing. Opposed to just buying a fabricated part assembly or a whole car, buying the component you already know that is going to work and fit on your car. Where if you're building it, it might take a couple iterations to get it to fit perfectly on the car. Buying it can save you a considerable amount of time when time is valuable. Whether you have a family or your car just can't be down for a long period of time. But sometimes it makes sense to sit down and learn that skill. It will pay off more later. That is one reason that I am building my own front suspension for the car. I have a better understanding of how it works and what settings need to be changed later on to make the car faster. But building something you get a greater sense of the accomplishment. You know that you put everything you had into making that product the best that it can be. Where if you went and bought something, you know, maybe down the road, you don't even remember where it came from. You don't even remember what it is called. You just slapped it on the car and let it go. But buying a product helps support businesses, whether it be small or large, they all need you in order to stay in business. I'm sure we've all been around long enough to where parts have been discontinued, companies have gone completely out of business. It really leaves a void in the market. And as these cars get older, parts are gonna be much harder to find. Another thing that I like about build is the learning of new skills. One thing that I like about the Mustang is the aftermarket. There's a bolt-on for just about everything for these cars. And yes, I consider bolt-on still underneath the build category of things and not just buying which there is kind of some blurred lines between that, but for the most part, you can build your car by just doing bolt-ons. But then I found off-roading and really fell in love with the fabrication and creativity that the guys were putting into their builds. You know, they would just cut everything off and make their own bumpers, armor, suspension. It just seemed like the possibilities were endless. You could do anything you wanted with a little bit of creativity and a welder, and I just, I really fell in love with that. And I brought that same thought process into building this Mustang. Sometimes you don't have toolboxes full of tools, uh, engine stand, a fabrication area, space in general. It's okay to go buy a product, buy a service. Just try to do what you can. Build your skills, push yourself. 
Don't get discouraged by Instagram and YouTube. Push yourself, do what you can. You'll have a greater sense of accomplishment in the end. The next thing is quality. The bot part will be a high quality unit. It's gone through QA. They have all the right tooling to make that product where the built one, most likely you're doing it with whatever you have in your shop. Not to say that there aren't people out there making really high quality parts in their shop. I'm just saying in general, most of us are using kind of the tools and things that we have to make a product. But making that product yourself, you're gonna get a much more custom and possibly better fit on your car than the bought one, which could be universal or has to meet more varying uh, tolerances of production cars. But what is faster? That's what we want to know. We want to know what is going to get us to the end quicker than the other guy. And really, there is no right answer. A built car can be faster than a bought car. A bought car can be faster than a built car. It's all in what you enjoy, what you are capable of, what things you have around your tools, your equipment. Um, it's all in what you want to do. Some of us might not want to be sitting in a garage, rebuilding an engine that we just bought, uh, but some of us enjoy it. Uh, some of us just need some content, but in the end, it's what you enjoy, what you're capable of. And if you're not capable of it now, push yourself. Push yourself to learn, to get better. It is a lot of fun, guys. And a quick tip to save a little bit of money, buy a car that's already built, that was built by somebody else, but maybe is not done, or one that you wanna put your own little touches onto it. Uh, yeah, it kinda goes against the argument of built, not bought, because you did actually buy the, the, the car or the thing or the engine or something like that but you can go and put your own touches on it. And in the end, that's what really matters is having fun with the vehicle that you have, whether you bought it or you built it, it's having fun with that vehicle, pushing that vehicle to its limits sometimes, pushing yourself to the limits, uh, but it's all about having fun. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.